Today I'm making a magnificent roast chicken and I've got a great recipe for the stuffing. It uses bulgur wheat and it's spiced with cinnamon and black pepper. First thing I need to do is get my bulgur wheat on the boil. Bulgur wheat's a great grain. It's been parboiled, dried and then cracked so the cooking time is quite short and all we really need to do is rehydrate it. I'm using twice as much water as I've used bulgur wheat and I'm just going to bring it to a simmer until all of that water has evaporated and the grains of the wheat have plumped up. I'll just add a little bit of salt. Always good to season your stuffings. So now I'm going to prepare my onion and the rest of my ingredients for my stuffing. I'm grating half an onion. That's forming a really lovely puree under there. So it sort of adds a little bit of moisture to our stuffing. I'm going to check that bulgur wheat, see how it's going. I can see that all that water has disappeared, so it looks as though it's ready. I'll just have a little taste. Mmm. That's done. I can turn that off now. That wheat's almost cooked through and it'll finish off its cooking in the oven. So now let's put the stuffing together. First thing I'm going to do is add some of my spices to the onions. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon. It's quite a strong flavour. And I'm using about half a teaspoon of black pepper in this. And that is one of the key flavours in this dish. So if it looks like a lot, don't worry about it. You really can't go too hard on this because when I had those stuffed pigeons in Egypt, I'm telling you, the pepperiness was absolutely fantastic. A little sprinkle of salt in there as well, maybe a little bit more. Let's get that bulgur wheat in there. I'm using about a cup of cooked bulgur wheat. That should be enough to stuff our chicken with. Give that all a good stir around. Last ingredient is some butter. I'm using 25 grams of butter or thereabouts. You don't need to melt the butter or anything like that. You can just cut it into there and stir it around. It really adds a beautiful flavour to it. Fat is flavour after all. Binds that stuffing a little bit together. Gives it a lovely glossy sheen as well. That's looking good. I'm ready to stuff my chicken. The easiest way to stuff a chicken is to use gravity. Let gravity be your friend. Sit it up on its end and then with your spoon, drop it into that cavity those spices really start to permeate through the, the flesh of the chicken. It's just great. Don't be afraid to pack it tightly here. And now just to stop her up the end, use half a lemon. And that also adds some flavour. So that lemon's going to help to keep the stuffing inside the chicken, but I've got another little tip to help that as well. Get a piece of string, cut off a good length of it, and then just tie the chicken's legs together. That's now ready for roasting. Now the dish that I'm using is a nice, heavy, cast iron covered dish. Drizzle a little bit of olive oil in the bottom. Pop our chicken in here. Now I'm going to make a stock around my roast chicken because that then provides a lovely sauce for the end. First thing to go in there is some onion. We don't have to chop these too carefully because they're just going to soften up and be delicious anyway. And just scatter those around your chicken here. I love this stage of cooking where you're just putting it all together and, um, and then you can just imagine it cooking over time and all of those flavours developing. It's just great. So I've got half a lemon there and I've quartered that. Now some peppercorns, a bit more of that salt. Drizzle half a cup of water around the sides. As that cooks, that liquid is going to reduce down and become really rich with the flavours that we put into the dish. All we need now is a cover on it and into our oven. My oven's been preheated to 220 degrees and that needs to cook for around 45 minutes and then I'll take the lid off and cook it for another 20 minutes until it's golden brown on top and cooked all the way through. Mm -hmm.